Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Thursday, January 12th. Strong words of condemnation at home and abroad for a video that surfaced this week. The video purportedly shows a group of U.S. Marines urinating on the corpses of Afghan men. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta called the video utterly deplorable. He ordered an investigation and said those responsible would be held fully accountable. In Afghanistan, President Hamid Karzai called the Marine actions insulting and insane. He demanded punishment for the soldiers involved. Back home, Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney moved today to dispel concerns over his history at Bain Capital. That's the private equity firm he once ran. Romney said his record at Bain has long been a matter of record and has been fully reported. Romney's been under fire as a jobs killer for the company's practice of buying out firms, then closing them, sometimes resulting in hundreds of layoffs. While campaigning in South Carolina, Romney said his company also helped create jobs. In fact, he said the job gains outnumbered the losses by over 100,000. South Carolina is the site of the next presidential primary. It's on January 21st. The Justice Department said President Obama acted within the law when he installed Richard Cordray as head of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau while the Senate was out of session. That move drew cries of foul from senators who said Obama circumvented the confirmation process. The Justice Department, which it should be noted is part of the Obama administration, said the recess appointments were legal since the Senate was technically not in recess but had gone out of session for the holidays. In addition to Cordray, Obama also made several appointments to the National Labor Relations Board with those moves. And we reported earlier this week that outgoing Mississippi Governor Haley Barber was under fire for pardoning convicts including at least four convicted killers, as he was about to leave office. Today, there's word that a state judge issued an order halting the release of a number of those inmates pending review. The trouble is, all but 21 of the more than 200 inmates, including the killers who were serving life sentences, have already been set free. Barber said nearly all of the pardons came on recommendations from the state parole board. Attorney General Jim Hood said Barber's moves may have violated the state's constitution. That's your political roundup for Thursday, January 12th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.